Wins in short supply for the Central Coast Mariners and Western United as the two teams square off on a beautiful day in Gosford. Who will leave with the three points though and get their A-League's season on track? The defending champions have not been at their best while the Central Coast Mariners have rung the changes after a very disappointing showing against the Perth Glory in front of the home faithful last weekend. As the assistant referee crawls out between the two teams waiting in the tunnel and it's great to see the Mini Roos ready to come out as mascots for this one. Lots of shouting going on as we look at this much-changed Central Coast Mariners team. Four ins, Aquilina, Roos, Triantis and Tulio, the latter two making their starting A-League men's debuts. To the bench go Nkololo, Farrell and Ayongo, while Dan Hall comes in to a match day squad for the first time this season. And Kalechi John, as we heard in pre-game, is out injured for up to six weeks. So massive overhauls for the Central Coast Mariners. Western United by contrast, just the one change. James Troisi out injured, expected back next week, but he misses this one and Nick Milanovic comes in for a start. Adesu Bayou is added to the bench, as is Reese Bozanovsky, while Seb Pasquale drops out of the match day squad. He is yet to appear on an A-League's field this season. And all is in readiness to get Central Coast Mariners against Western United underway with Neil Kilkenny on the ball immediately and looking to probe forward and find Lockie Wales as the ball is headed clear. And Central Coast Mariners looking to get off to a flyer as coming speeds a pass. And then it just runs a little bit long for Michael Roos into the starting lineup today. And he's looking to stamp himself on the game, as is no doubt Grace Gill, former Matilda. Grace, great to have you alongside me. A pleasure to be here as always. And a bit of an early dispute over wanting to take a free kick quickly. Stephen Lucas says, get on with the game. And so, with less than a minute played, the players heed that instruction. As Topor Stanley, it's a little bit apprehensive, but Jamie Young was coming out of his penalty area to clear. The last thing Western United would want is two of their senior heads in a mix up. As Lucky Wales makes a block, and now he's got a little bit of territory to exploit. Wales saw the run on the right, and it's a good last-ditch challenge coming in from Nisbet to prevent Milanovic bearing down on Yoke. Yeah, really important touch there from Nisbet. Needed to make an intervention, but that was a good look from Lockie Wales, good intensity. This is something that Lockie Wales does so well, driving into the middle of the field and just creating that space down the right-hand flank. So, again, really great defensive intervention by Nis Nisbet there. Company headed this time for Topo or Stanley. Lots of battling in that midfield. Ballard thought he was fouled by Milanovic. He now wins the header. Lustica went to ground. Referee didn't reach for the whistle. Nisbet and now Jason Cummings. On a tight angle, Cummings with a deflection. And that nearly took it in. Jamie Young pours it over the crossbar. Well, Jamie Young doing what Jamie Young has done so well, both this season and last, just coming up. Big in those huge moments. Jason Cummings, it's a good look. He's kept himself on side really well then. Closed the angle a little somewhat for himself, but it was an unfortunate deflection for Cummings. Caltax up, Cummings, was he onside? If he is, it's a goal! And it's a big if. Well, Western United were really quick off their line. You can see the defenders moved as soon as that defensive clearance came from the corner. And you see all the white shirts and it's just left the Central Coast players there in an offside position. Andre Giev is the assistant referee over on the outer side, one of the best in the caper. And that's one of the easier offside decisions you'll make. No need for VAR when they are that clear cut. That's a good pass from Triantis and an even better touch from Silvera to open up the pitch. Cummings, he's got options. Finds Tulio. Tulio underneath to Nisbet. Silvera's unmarked. An air swing initially. And now Cummings is blocked away. Here's the follow up. Aquilina. And the Mariners are peppering. But when the moment was there, Sammy Silvera, he missed it. And the ball hit his standing leg. Oh, well, he'll be frustrated with that one. But what a play for the Mariners. All starting with Triantis at the back. But it was a beautiful move of ball up the, up the field, rather. The speed of play in which the Mariners turned things around. But Silvera has got to do better with that shot. That is a, a beautiful opportunity. 
And at this point, Central Coast must be thinking, we need a goal, we need a payoff for this dominance, because the last thing they want is for Weston to hit them against the run. Kilkenny, is this Weston's moment to turn the tables on Central Coast? Great pass from Garuccio, Connor Payne, they're in behind, and the goal does arrive! Western United, Milanovic the scorer, and after creating next to nothing, it's a big celebration up on the coast, as Nicholas Milanovic makes it Western United 1-0. Well, you've got to say against the run of play as well, Central Coast with all the chances, all the possession, and... Milanovic, the youngster, coming into the side here on the Harvey Norman replay. It's a beautiful finish. Tucked really neatly into the back of the net from the late run into the box at the top of the 18-yard there. But Central Coast will be furious that they haven't made more of one of their chances. Third A-League men's goal for the 20-year-old. turn to advance forward. He's got Lockie Wales on the right. Wales against Rue. Caltech. Now the follow-up, Risden. Promising drive. Didn't quite have the bend that it needed to come back and challenge. He's connected well on that, Risden. Again, Lockie Wales doing as he does, driving in. Holding off Wales. Back pass, a little dangerous. Wenzel Halls nearly ran onto it, but Triantis, even with the slip, was a cool customer. And now Ballard can follow up. Well, Triantis has looked really composed back there for Central Coast as a, a young guy. A really cool head, good touches on the ball. Certainly not the easiest back pass to deal with, but it's launched an attack, which Lacroix puts an end to. Now Milanovic. Western United on the counter. This is where they're dangerous. Wenzel Halls had a quick head check to make sure he was onside. And now he heard the shout on the overlap. It's two. Connor Payne nestles it in the corner. We've seen two textbook Western United goals. They hit hard on the counter and they've doubled their lead. Well, as easy as you like there from Western United and despite the dominance from Central Coast, this is a really great run there from Milanovic. He's drawn in the three Central Coast defenders on the Harvey Norman replay. And the defence has just opened up there. It's a beautiful overlapping run by Connor Payne and a really tidy finish to tuck that into the far post. Well, Dylan Wenzel Halls, he might not have a goal this year, but one, he got himself back on side, and two, he trusted the shout of a teammate on the blind pass. That's a great assist. Yeah, it's a beautiful team goal. I almost thought Milanovic could have released that ball through to Wenzel Halls a little bit earlier, but you mentioned there, Taylor, he did so well to keep his onside position and, and wait for that overlapping run of Connor Payne, and that's a really neat finish. I'm not sure Wenzel Halls had even touched the ball since his assist, and yet when he was able to re-engage with the game there, it was in a very threatening position. As we see Triantis again showing that he's not afraid to spend time on the ball take on a pressing attacker and the whistle would come to the mariners aid here as Wenzel Halls commits a foul oh, is he perhaps right to point out that the ball wasn't stopped but the referee won't bring them back Cummings Silvera Silvera sizes up his options. The touch from Roos. It's going to fall kindly for Tulio and Cummings. He was off balance and he didn't get his foot through the ball. Jamie Young gratefully is able to dive on the spill. Well, that would have been the injection that Central Coast needed to go into half time. It's a good save again from Jamie Young, but he has parried that perfectly into the path of Cummings, who just can't get enough on that. Short-lived attack there for Weston as Rue hits it long for Roos. Tried to skip the ball into his path, but only succeeded in kicking it into his hands. Yeah, 
frustration there for Roos. It was a good run off the shoulder of his defender, but it's just a little touch. Tried to take it on toward goal, but it in the end just ended up popping it up into his own arm. So a big halftime team talk coming up for Nick Montgomery. John Aloisi, everything is more or less gone exactly to plan. His inclusion to the starting 11 scored a goal. Kind of pain from the back of the net for the first time since April. As we wait for this restart here, we suspect it will be accompanied by the halftime whistle. And indeed it is. So Western United well and truly on track to pick up their first three points of the campaign. A third career A-League men's goal for Nick Milanovic got it started. And then Connor Payne really rubbed it in by adding a second. Both of them on the counter-attack. It's textbook stuff as Western United lead 2-0 against the Central Coast Mariners at halftime. Can the Mariners flip the script here in the second half? As Jason Cummings restarts the action. And Grace Gill, do you see a comeback in the offing, especially now that the Mariners have, after making four changes to the starting 11 from last week, have made three at halftime. They are chopping and changing, looking for a winning combination. Well, a, a triple change definitely sends intent. Fresh legs, energy coming on, and two with a player like Quoll, and we know the type of injection he can offer. I think if we're going to see some damage done here by Central Coast, it'll be early on in this half. Karen Quoll only recently turned 18. scored against Western United last season. They need more than just the one goal in order to get something out of this game. And right now it's Western United who'd love a third and clear daylight between themselves and the Mariners and Caltech, well, he nearly presented the opportunity on a silver platter. He was able to stick out his long legs and recover the ball in the nick of time. I thought he had a really strong first half, Caltech. Really composed defending there, just that touch that went somewhat astray moments ago, uncharacteristic from his first 45 minutes. Aquilina. It's a high long ball. Off the chest of Wenzel Halls. Ballard to Quall. And he's away. Garen Quall puts the head down and that is a crunching challenge and an obvious yellow card. Nikolai Topor Stanley. It's only going to be yellow and he leaves the scene and just as we were getting excited about Garen Qual he went in and reduced it well there are those moments that we're talking about the lean forward in your seats moments when you see a player like Garen Qual stride out but top off Stanley a technical foul there was there even the slightest intention to win the ball absolutely not you can see the right smile the old campaigner has really given it to the young pup there. But that's a cynical, cynical foul. And the referee's been called over to the VAR. And Grace, I've got to say, I'm not surprised. It's not just the point of impact. It's the fact that Qual and the ball were long gone. You can see the left foot of Topo Stanley. The studs collecting the back of Qual's calf there. And it's probably pretty fortunate not to come off worse for wear there, Qual. Chris Griffiths-Jones is the VAR. He's summoned over Stephen Lucas. And is this going to be the reversal? And Nikolai Topo Stanley's expression on his face summed it up, and now it's kicking off. And there's a dust up here. Tensions flaring. Danny Vukovic playing peacemaker. Dylan Wenzel Halls. Maybe not a man of peace. Topo Stanley, he's got to leave the pitch. The red card has been shown, and now a yellow card for Dylan Wenzel Halls as well. And this is the game changer that the Mariners needed. And Qual is the man responsible. Nisbet. Qual. And he stood up well there by Garuccio, but it will be a Mariners throw. With two balls on the pitch here. Aquilina is quick to get rid of one of them. And the ball is live at the feet of Cummings! Jason Cummings puts the Mariners back in business. 2-1 with half an hour to go. Well, there it is from their main man, Jason Cummings. A beautiful nutmegs through the legs. Smart play there. Love that 
creativity on the Harvey Norman replay and on his favoured left foot, a beautiful finish. Nothing Jamie Young can be done about that one. And the Central Coast Mariners are making the return into this game. Jason Cummings, who scored a double but missed out on a hat-trick against Western United last season. It's three in three. Is VAR about to intervene? Now, is this due to the multi-ball situation? Some players had stopped, some hadn't. Western United were asking the question, pointing at the ball, the second ball on the field of play there. Well, this is contentious. The goal is disallowed. As he tries to steer Western United to a first win of the season. It's already one of those situations where if you're a Western fan, you're watching the clock. And you're hoping that the seconds just tick away, even though there's a lot of football still to be played. And Paul is almost in behind. Great trickery. Cleared into the path of Cummings. And this time it counts. Jason Cummings does. Well, here come the Mariners, and who else behind that goal but Garen Cole on the Harvey Norman replay. A really slick bit of trickery straight through the legs there, but it's Jason Cummings who is making the run in. A neat tuck away the Central Coast. They are on the return here. Was the shot on target from Cole or just a driving cross to really look for what ended up playing out of? A parry, a deflection, and in it goes. Well, in that kind of space, is a lovely little tuck back. I thought on initial glance it was through the legs, but no, a beautiful touch just around, around the legs. I think just that kind of ball, just the pace into that high traffic area is really tough to defend against. Western United packing the middle of the pitch. You see the stats there, 17 shots to three. Cummings and Kololo, can they fashion a shot here? Aquilina! And the header sailed out. Game number 44 of his career, Thomas Aquilina, yet to score an A-League men's goal. Well, Western United, with not much choice at the moment as we have a look at the header there. Just gone over the crossbar, but Western United with not much choice but to absorb a whole lot of pressure at the moment, and it's really tough to play the style they do, looking for that counter-attack, looking for the outlet to relieve the pressure when, with a player down, they don't actually have that target player up top. the action areas of the pitch. More than a third of the game taking place in Central Coast's attacking third. Aquilina. Qual. The return pass, Aquilina. Cummings, turned in. The mare is a level. And it's Benny and Kololo. A perfect two from two against Western United. Central Coast with the man advantage have leveled this one up. Oh, that's brilliant there from Central Coast. A lovely run through on the Harvey Norman replay there. And then Kololo keeps himself in an onside position. Jason Cummins was looking for the back of the net there. But then Kololo does really well to follow that one in. The Central Coast, they have equalised here. They are well on their way. Well, the entire Western defence snapped around the assistant referee begging for offside. But... And Kololo got it right. So did Cummings with the first time ball. And Benny and Kololo has bought this game level, still with more than 15 minutes of regulation to go. Aquilina again, reloading for more. Cummings. Aquilina surveys the options. Oh, nearly turned in for an own goal. And it's off trap. Out for a corner kick. Well, hasn't Aquilina been sprightly down this right hand side? Afforded a little bit more room and space, given Weston have had the player down, but his touch, his delivery on the ball has been really impressive. Young with the big fist away, clearing the corner. Allard's at the fall of the ball. Cummings working the wing. And the header! Farrell! The Mariners have turned it around! And Jacob Farrell, one of the homegrown heroes, has put Central Coast in front. Oh, well, 
Jacob Farrell. What a delightful finish. Time almost stood still in that moment. The delivery from Cummings. He had all the time in, in the world to look at it on the Harvey Norman replay. Jamie Young, all he could do was stand and watch, but that is a beautiful header across, back across the face of the goal from Jacob Farrell. And the Central Coast Mariners have edged their way back in front. Just his second A-League men's goal after scoring on his debut in the opening round of last season. Farrell. Paul lurks at the top of the box. And Kololo. Now Paul. To cries of shoot. He feeds it back to him. Kololo. Cummings. assist for Jason Cummings and Paul Ayongo, the man from Charity Stars in Accra, Ghana, via the Portuguese Segunda, has scored his first A-League men's goal. Steele boots it away. Kilkenny, Piraeus, hasn't stopped trying since being subbed on. Diamante heard the shout from Garuccio. Couldn't get there in the nick of time. It's a goal kick. John Aloisi, what thoughts will be going through his head? A disappointment for Aloisi after a really comfortable first 45 minutes. We've got Adelaide in a home game next weekend. And the full-time whistle goes on a memorable comeback for the Central Coast Mariners. 2-0 down, a red card helped swing the game. And then a 4-2 win, finishing with a wet sail in the second half. It's a result that everyone who came to Gosford today will be talking about for weeks and months to come. A real season shaper and it ends. Central Coast Mariners 4, Western United 2.